foot. So you're going to come off an inch and a half on each side of that. It's going to be three inches total. So we're going to make two boards at 21 inches. So that is 42 inches overall. Welcome. My name is Greg Gallup uh, with Agua International Water Relief. We're here today in cool California at our American River Research Station. Uh, today I'll be doing a brief explanation on how to make a sieve for sorting different sand sizes in preparation for making a biological slow sand filter. As you see here, we have various different lengths of uh, just two by four wood uh, grabbed from a, a wood pile. And um, the sizes aren't necessarily so important. Some people may want their sieve bigger, some people may want it smaller. I'm going to go over a couple of different configurations, but there's longer pieces and shorter pieces. And then this is a half inch wire mesh. We got it at a feed store. It's good quality stuff. This is for the larger gravel. This is quarter inch wire mesh and it will be used for the medium sized gravel. Uh, so the typical uh, configuration for the, the sieve is, looks a little bit like Gives room for people to grab handles. Uh, you have two people on each side so that you can put uh, sand or gravel in here and then people can shake it back and forth and it, and it sorts itself that way, which is fine for small projects. Um, but I've seen for people who have to do a lot of sand production, it's actually kind of tiresome, especially if you're working in really hot conditions. So other people uh, kind of make them just one huge box like this and one side is longer and uh, they just set it up against the wall um, and toss sand at it. Um, we want to really go for accuracy though so sometimes the sand gets mixed up when you do it like that so I don't prefer to do it that way but we're actually going to be preparing a, a, a larger sieve that's going to have eye hooks in it here and we're going to hang it uh, by rope from this uh, playground over here and uh, in the back there's some pull-up bars and the plan is to basically put put some rope around uh, the pull-up bars and hang the sieve from it so we can rock it back and forth and there's not so much uh, pressure on the low back while we're working what's really cool is that this uh, this wood, we cut it down so that the wire mesh is about that length. Depending on what kind of mesh you get, maybe it's going to be longer, maybe it's shorter. This is a relatively good side size. Uh, we don't want to waste any, though. Sometimes you might even have to have a little extra hanging off on the side to tack it over. And, and that way you're not getting spill coming up the side of your sieve. But this is the...